Good morning, everyone. I uh, have a quick video this morning. I just wanted to get out there and show you guys uh, another modification that I've done uh, to the Suburban. So as, as everybody who owns one of these vehicles probably knows, the, I, I believe they all came with a rear trunk organizer that goes underneath, you know, goes, goes in the bed, right? And uh, it has a door on it and you can open it up and there's some very, very shallow storage in that organizer. Um, I, I saw some some pictures online of, uh, of a vehicle that had that removed, and so I decided to give that a try. And this is what we have here. Um, I, unfortunately, I didn't take a, any pictures or images of actually removing it, but um, there's if you open it up, there's two kind of thumb wheels, you know, hand-operated fasteners that you can get in there, and you just screw those out, and, uh, it, and it lifts right out. There's a couple of pegs. That go through the carpet uh, to, to support it but it, it comes right out and, and this is what you get and so I haven't seen too much online about about doing this um, but it's it's a, a it's fully upholstered underneath there's there's carpet underneath it there's a trim piece that gets you know revealed whenever you take it out and and this is what you get a much a much lower uh, load floor uh, it, it buys you about six inches in the back, back where the seats are, you get six more inches of, of payload space in the back of the vehicle by doing this. And you can see there's a couple of holes in the carpet where the those pegs go through uh, that support the the organizer. But I'm okay with that as long as as well as these uh, you know these uh, fastener holes for where it gets originally mounted. So I think, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give this a try. Obviously, it can easily drop back in there and and reinstall. Um, but um, I measured the, the back of it, and, and, you know, you can kind of tell by the, the wear marks on the plastic how much room the uh, the organizer took up in the past when it was in there. You can see where it's kind of, you know, nice and new on the side panel. But in the back, yeah, it was six inches. And so get a lot more, get a lot more space to be able to put, Put gear back here and I just store I had some tools and things that I stored in the organizer that I just put into a, a bag and a box now that I that I store in here to be able to keep that so one of the things you give up when you do this modification is that you don't really have a flat floor load floor anymore um, in in the third row so when you drop these seats down you know you can see there's a there's a, a, a elevation change there so if you're loading in something, you know, long and flat board, something like that, you'll have to contend with that. But <clears throat> how often I do that makes makes sense, more sense to me to have more room to store things, you know, bags, toys, sports equipment, stuff like that. That's what I usually carry back here. So that's it. I hope this uh, hope this helps you guys out. If you if you want to do this option or not. And it's totally reversible. It just drops right back in and two fasteners and you're back to where you were before. Thanks for watching.